Terry Savelle Foy. I'm glad you're watching today. Let's talk about how to conquer the someday syndrome. What in the world is that? First of all, the someday syndrome is a fatal trap. In other words, you're always saying, someday I'm going to get serious about that. Someday I'm going to get on a fitness plan. Someday I'm going to get life insurance. Someday I'm going to start saving some money. Someday, I always say someday is not a day of the week. It's not someday, Monday, Tuesday. But you know, a lot of times we get into that trap, we get into that rut of always thinking someday off in the future, but then someday turns into some months and then some years and some decades and then it's over. In fact, Jack Canfield said this, the one sentence that fills the thoughts of people as they prepare to pass on is this, if only I'd done the things I really wanted to do, my life would have been so different. In other words, always saying someday I'm going to get serious about it, but it never happens. Well, you know, I heard this story about a guy named Ken Hitchcock. They called him Hitch, kind of like the movie. He said he weighed more than 450 pounds. And he said his size did not deter him from going after his dreams of coaching hockey. Well, apparently he was an amazing hockey coach. In fact, he led a junior club to division championships in five out of six seasons. He had a remarkable record. In fact, they said his dream, though, was to coach in the National Hockey League. Well, they said he knew everything there was to know about hockey, including getting the best performances from his team members. Well, he wouldn't give up on that dream of being in the NHL. His weight, however, was a major factor. In fact, people told him that he probably wouldn't get selected in the big league as coaching for the NHL because of his size. Well, one day at the end of practice, he slipped on the ice and he fell and he was so humiliated, so embarrassed, so frustrated because he couldn't get up. Well, some of his team members, they had to come pick him up, put him on the bench, and he was so embarrassed that he said, that was my defining moment. He made a decision. Instead of always saying, someday I'm gonna get my weight under control. Someday I'll get serious about this. He said that was his defining moment. Well, with the help of some of his friends, he got on this schedule where he began working out consistently. Every day he was doing something to exercise. Then he started eating healthier. He said in less than two years, he lost 250 pounds, amazingly. Now think about someone who had struggled with their weight years and years and years, and once he made a decision that someday is today, he lost more than 250 pounds in less than two years. Well, like I said, he wouldn't give up on his dream. In 1997, his dream came true of being a coach in the National Hockey League. For who? The Dallas Stars. We're right here in Dallas, so go Dallas. Well, then get this, two years later, he achieved every coach's dream in the NHL, which was winning the Stanley Cup, which was the first time the Dallas Stars had ever won the Stanley's Cup. Well, think about this. What would Ken Hitchcock's life story be if he had maintained the mindset of someday? Someday I'm gonna lose this weight. Someday I'll start eating healthier. Well, because he made someday today, it changed the whole direction of his life. His entire destiny was changed because he turned the someday's into right now. Well, my question for you is, what would happen if you adapted that same mindset where you say, I'm going to stop putting it off, I'm going to stop telling everybody someday I'm going to get serious, and you said someday is today? I think it would change the whole course of your life. And the thing is, once you make those decisions, those destiny decisions, it not only affects your life, but it affects those closest to you. Well, I heard a guy named Ed Foreman, he made this little poem called The Procrastinator's Creed, and it says this, Someday when I grow up, finish school, and get a job, I'll start living the way I want. Oh, well, someday after the mortgage is paid off, the finances are on track, and the kids grow up, I'll drive that car and take exciting trips. Well, someday, now that I'm about to retire, I'll buy that beautiful motorhome and travel across this great country and see all there is to see. Someday. And he said that becomes the mindset of most people is someday. Have you ever heard this phrase? Make sure when it's all said and done, you've done more than you said. <laughs> In other words, back up your actions. Doesn't the Bible even say that faith without works is dead? It's useless. It's void of power. Well, I want this to be the time in your life that you, you may want to shock the people around you. Instead of them always hearing someday, you make that decision that it's now. In fact, think about this. Give yourself permission to succeed. Do you know that you could be your greatest enemy to success? 
What is it that you need to get serious about? Then do it. Whatever it is that you feel God's put in your heart that you need to accomplish, and it may not be big, massive goals like Ken Hitchcock with you know, being a coach in the NHL. It could be a goal of start saving money. It could be that goal of saying, I'm going to start working out. I'm not gonna say someday. I'm gonna go walk up and down my street for 10 minutes. I'm gonna make the decision that someday is today. Well, listen to what Jeremiah 1.5 says. Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of day, I had plans for you. And I love this translation. It says, I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Well, God has plans for you. There are certain things that he's expecting you to do during your time on earth. And if you keep putting them off, then you're going to stand before God and say, Lord, I meant to do it someday, but it just came and went. When you think of it like that, that's pretty serious. So I want you to get serious about the targets that you need to focus on, that you need to aim at this year. And don't get overwhelmed by it. Just narrow it down to a few things and get a plan of action. You know, Nito Cubine, who he's the president of High Point University, he said, nothing can add more power to your life than concentrating all your energies on a limited set of targets. Don't get overwhelmed. Just limit it to a, lim a limited set of targets. You've heard the phrase, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time, right? So practice having integrity with yourself. If you said this year, I'm going to get my health under control, then start today. Like I said, even if it's 10 minutes, start today. You could do some crunches right there in the living room. Or if you said, I'm going to start stop spending more than I make, then you could cut up those credit cards right now, right now and say, someday is today. I'm not going to do it tomorrow morning. I'm starting right now. Or if it's getting life insurance or going back to school or, you know, you've been saying, I'm going to take an accounting class, then go online right now and just do the research for it. That way you're checking it off and you're not saying, I'm going to do that tomorrow. What did Jimmy Lyon say? Tomorrow's the only day in the year that appeals to a lazy man. So don't put it off till tomorrow. Do something today in the direction of the goals you want to accomplish. So I just want to challenge you. Remember, faith without works is dead. When you get inspired to do something, they say if you don't do something about it within 24 hours, chances are you never will. So turn someday into today. If you're enjoying the podcast, please subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so I can keep you motivated to achieve your dreams. Thanks for watching.